Okay, now for our first dry run here, I'm gonna try to do the bare minimum. Here's our hard drive with the update files. It's been properly formatted and the update files are on it. And we know it's a working drive because Windows can see it. And uh, we're gonna attach this back onto here. Now for the time being, because we're not exactly sure what it's gonna take to get this working. Um, system seems to be uh, giving me a little more trouble than normal, but each system's always a different experience in that way. We're just gonna put one screw in here just to keep the, uh, the hard drive connected to this tray. All right, and then uh, just checking the camera here. We're gonna drop this sucker in here, connect the two connectors. Attach our Wi-Fi board. We're gonna connect this again, because we're gonna connect this up fully. I'm hoping we actually get something to boot here, but uh, I'm still a little concerned with the way we're just seeing a black screen. You know. All right, so we connect the Wi-Fi board. The lid on. Here, I'll bring this over here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but we're gonna connect the top Wi-Fi antenna, and then we're gonna connect the sound. And the power button's already attached, so I'm gonna see what happens there. I should just click up. It does. Okay, we've got the power. All right. Let's see if we can see that screen. Kinda. All right. Let's see. I'll keep our fingers crossed on this, but I don't know. Powered up. Aha, and look at that. Now, what happens next? All right, so there you go. So that's a failed hard drive. Um, black screen when you powered on. I took the hard drive out, black screen. So a dead hard drive or no hard drive seems to have kind of the same effect. We might still get an error here. It's be interesting to see kind of what happens. Um, Black screen again, <laughs> but we got the green screen, so that's okay. All right, so what's probably going on now is uh, the fact that the hard drive and the NAND are different versions. We're getting this. So the next step would be to do a factory reset. So we're gonna go back to trying to hold the power or the bind and eject buttons at the same time. Uh, so I'll cut away and then uh, we'll go back to that.